Welcome to our first lesson about basic assembly. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to place a component in our assembly. Let's begin by creating a new assembly document. Select Assembly, and Assembly 1 is created. The easiest way to place a component is to select from Windows Explorer. Just drag it right into your graphic area. And our components are all placed here. Let's shift select these components, right click, and select delete. Let me show you another way to place components. Activate the place command. I'll select the base first. Here's our preview, and let's click open. And the base appears in the graphic area. If I left click again, I'll place another instance of the base, but I only need one instance, so I'm going to right click and select done. Now let's bring in the cube. Click open. A left click places the component. If I move the mouse and left click, I place a second instance of the component. Let's right click and done. Notice in the design tree, I've got two instances of the cube, cube 1 and cube 2. Let's activate the place command again. Now I'm going to select the cylinder and the fastener at the same time. Open and left click to place in the graphic area. Right click and done. Let's just position them a little bit differently. Notice that all the components besides the base move. That's because the base has zero degrees of freedom. The icon next to the mouse indicates that this component is grounded. That's what that little pin symbol means. I've got the same pin icon in the design tree as well next to this feature. This means that the component is grounded. Let's right click on the base and unselect grounded. Now the base can move freely. I can ground other components of the assembly the same way. Right click, right click, and select grounded. Now if I try to move the cube, I can't. I've got zero degrees of freedom when the cube is grounded. Let's right click on cube one and unselect grounded. And let's reground the base. Placing components is our first step in creating an assembly. In our next lesson, we're going to learn how to place constraints. And this concludes our lesson about placing components within an assembly.